Well, today I'm going to teach you how to calculate the tangent 30, 45, 60, the sine 30, 45, 60, and as well as the cosine 30, 45, 60 without using a calculator. And this is very important if uh, there's a question that asks you to calculate the exact value of the angle without um, asking you to use a calculator or you're not allowed to use a calculator. So what do you have to do? First thing, you will need to draw an uh, equilateral triangle. So what do we mean by equilateral triangle? Equilateral triangle basically means that all sides are equal. And so it's the angles are 60 degrees. So uh, because a triangle has three sides and the sum of it adds up to 180. So next thing that we do, will do is to um, draw a perpendicular bisector. So the distance from here to here is the same as the distance from here to here. So next thing what we'll do is to um, allocate. Okay, this has two units. This has two units and this has also two units. So which means that this will be one unit and this will be one unit since the distance between here and here is the same as the distance between here and here. This part here will be 90 degrees since this line will be a perpendicular bisector and this portion will be 30. Okay, so next thing we will need to calculate why is the distance between here, okay, here and here. Okay, so this will be a question mark. So to calculate the distance between here and here, we will use the technique of what we call uh, Pythagoras theorem, right? So Pythagoras theorem, let's say for example, this is A, this length is A, this length is B, and this length is C. So Pythagoras theorem tells us that A squared plus B squared gives you C squared, all right? So in this case, if I were to plug in the value, C is equal to 2. A, we don't know why it's A, okay, but B is equal to 1, so we know why it's B. So our A square, we will bring this over to the right hand side, so there's 2 square minus 1 square, that will be equal to 3. So A will be equal to the square root of plus minus 3. So, but the thing is that we will um, neglect the negative portion because we know that the length itself can only be positive. So next thing, we know that this length is is square root 3. I'm just, I'm going to draw a more, I'm going to redraw a diagram so that you'll be able to see clearly and you'll be able to find the values. Same thing, perpendicular bisector, two units. This will be one unit. And we know that the, the, the length of this perpendicular bisector is a square root 3. This is 60 degrees, this is 90 because it's a perpendicular bisector as well as this 30. So now we have all the values down here, we will be able to solve um, what is my tangent 30 and 60, sine 30, 60, cosine 30, 60. So we follow the method that we have learned, the, sorry, the trois car as well as the so, the trois car so method, all right? So tangent, all right? Tangent 30, that gives you opposite over adjacent, okay, which is tangent 30 is, the opposite is 1 unit, the adjacent portion is square root 3, so it's 1 over square root 3. Same thing for the tangent 60, it's also opposite over adjacent, so the opposite portion for tangent 60 is square root 3, the adjacent portion is 1. For sine 30, Alright, sine 30. Sine 30, we know that the sole is the opposite over hypotenuse. So we look at sine 30, the opposite is unit 1 over hypotenuse is half. Same as sine 60, opposite over hypotenuse. Sine 60, 60 degrees is here, um, the opposite is square root 3, hypotenuse is 2. Alright, hope you can see. So the cosine 30, same thing. It looks like a 36, but it's actually a 30. Let's put it as 30. So it's actually adjacent over hypotenuse. All right, so let's look at cosine 30. Cosine 30, okay, let me just make it much more clearer. Cosine 30. So cosine 30, if I were to take uh, the adjacent, that would be uh, square root 3. Hypotenuse is 2. And cosine 60 is the 
Same thing, the adjacent over hypotenuse. The adjacent is 1. The hypotenuse is half. So as you can see, um, sine 30 is equal to cosine 60, and sine 60 equals to cosine 30. So last but not least, okay, in order to find what's my tangent 45, sine 45 as well as the cosine 45. What we need to do, same thing, we will need to draw a right angle isosceles triangle. So what does this mean? It means something like this. All right. Okay. Let me draw not a flag, but this. Okay. So this is a right angle triangle, whereby this length is equal to this length. So we know that this is 90 degrees. This will be 45. And this will be 45. So now let's give uh, this length one unit, this length one unit. So in order to find the hypotenuse, same thing, we will do the Pythagoras theorem. Which tells us that 1 square plus 1 square gives me my hypotenuse square. So my hypotenuse will be equals to square root of plus minus 2. Because this is 2 and you square root it. Sorry, it's, let me just repeat. Alright, so my hypotenuse therefore is equals to square root 2. Of course, we do not take the negative portion because length can only be positive. So now we have the values. We can go straight to calculate what is my tangent 45. So my tangent 45, same thing, the trois so method. Okay, tangent 45 is equal to opposite over adjacent. So let's pick here, 45, tangent 45. Opposite is 1. My adjacent is also one unit, so that is one over one, which is one. The cosine forty-five method. This is uh, we know that is adjacent over hypotenuse. Let's take a look. The adjacent part is one. The hypotenuse is square root two. Last but not least, sine forty-five. The so it's um, opposite over hypotenuse. All right. So the opposite portion of the sine 45, let's say if we pick this angle, it's actually 1. It's actually the same as if we pick this angle, the opposite is actually 1 over square root 2. So there you go, you have all the values down here. As well as down here. So we know that, okay, in order to find what is my tangent 30, 45, 60, sine 30, 45, 60, as well as cosine 30, 45, 60, we will just need an equilateral triangle. Equilateral triangle. As well as an right angle. isosceles triangle. We will have more examples of how to calculate the exact angle um, for a certain question in the next video. Do remember to subscribe if you want to look at more helpful videos to help you solve um, math problems.